Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday afternoon. I thought I'd start with a slightly different shot. This is where I planted the climbing beans and there's nothing left. <laughs> so mice or birds or whatever, I plucked them out and just eating them all. Uh, I don't know if it's worth chucking any more seeds in there, there now. Uh, I might have some actual proper runner beans. I might try a few of them. I think I've got some seeds in the shed. Obviously weather and everything, I've not managed to have another outing with the strimmer. Been raining heavily again today. It's like some of these leaks have started standing up. So they should be okay, they should grow and thicken up. However, whatever ate that beetroot has come back and eaten the tops off all that and eaten the tops off them leeks. So, uh, not entirely sure what that is, but I've got some bits of cover here I made some time ago. Might just temporarily chuck one of them over the top and might make it a bit harder for them or just give them a tunnel to climb through instead. Uh, whatever was happening with that courgette, it's obviously died and fallen off. There's actually some couple of ears of corn forming on these, surprisingly, so see what happens. The uh, the whiskers are just coming out, which is, if any of you are unfamiliar, have never grown corn. These tassels come out like that one, and this stuff on top is like the, the pollen heads. So that's why you plant corn very close together. So as these things rattle around, the pollen drops. And when they're brown like that, each one of them leads to an actual grain of corn inside the cob. So sometimes you can get a corn or a cob that not all the kernels have grown. Uh, this is why. So you, you're looking when they get germinated, they should all be sort of brown and start rotting back. And that's uh, telling the corn kernels themselves to actually grow and fill out potatoes looking good still plenty of flowers on there not that you eat the fruit off them or anything but like I said in the last video I might try and salvage some seeds off that and try growing potatoes from seeds just another uh, experiment I've not looked in the greenhouse yet so Horse flies in the greenhouse. Uh, yeah, I mean, some of these are standing in water where they've captured rainwater coming through the roof. A bit of water collected and turned my chair upside down so it doesn't get wet. But some of these uh, need a drink. Obviously, I've not been here since Friday. Tigerella there's ripening up. Like uh, one of the plums is starting to ripen on the back there. A few dead flowers need knocking off. Put some flowers on this one. This is one called Mountain Ash. Uh, I think I grew them last year, but or the year before, I should say. But I think I don't think they were very successful. They are a variety there's a, another youtube gardener a fellow called charles dowding it's well worth watching his videos he, he has a no dig uh, it's actually a market garden really down in the south area uh, he's very successful he seems to be able to get rid of weeds and just grow stuff in uh, two crops a year out of each bed just by applying a couple of inches of fresh compost once a year but this is a tomato he grows and highly recommend so I want to try at least try them and get some fruit off them this, um, oh yeah, this, this bush one's starting to grow some fruit so that'll be good it's a 
nothing happening with the cucumber. Doesn't look very happy actually. There's a lot of. Uh, I think it's kind of a mildew. So there is some new fruit forming on it. It actually wants training over the top. Bit of a wire there, it can have a go at climbing over up to the ceiling. So it's grown in the past. So at least there is some fruit forming on it. Oh, that's a, I think there's a shrug or something there taking a fancy to me. Uh, tomatoes, I have to pick them right ones down there. Trouble with these sun gold is they're uh, <coughs> gorgeous tasting tomatoes but they have incredibly thin skins and they split very easily so if you grow them when you pick them you rather than just take the tomato off you snap the stalk just above you leave that little green cap on and it'll stop the plant from splitting or the fruit from splitting so like I say they're very thin skinned and they're just packed with uh, juice and flavour and you know really soft tissue kind of tomato. So I'll, I've brought my uh, liquid fertiliser with me again so I'll do a couple of watering can mixes of that and get everything watered. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'll be staying this evening. It's, everything really damp there's not a great deal I can do out there I've got a few plants here need tying off now so I'll get these tied off and uh, I'll bring you back before I go okay that's uh, the tomatoes tied off I've even put a string around the bush one just so they all support each other the central main stem is climbing up a string. Tied all the others off, I'll give everything a, a water with a liquid feed. Ordinarily I wouldn't call on a Tuesday tomorrow, but I believe there's some roads getting closed. There's an issue with a, a road that floods around here, so I might call tomorrow and just give everything another drink and then I possibly won't make it down here again for the rest of this week if there's uh, a load of disruption to the roads, it makes it quite hard to get here. So that's the greenhouse sorted. I did uh, pick a few tomatoes to take home with me. There's nothing I can do out here, everything's too damp. So uh, I'm going to call it a day, I'm going to head home. So I might call again here tomorrow just to make sure the greenhouse is wet. As uh, it'll probably be then a Monday the next week before I make it down again. So thanks for watching so far. Catch up with you next time. Good evening. Welcome back to my channel. It's around 9 p.m. on Friday evening. Uh, I've waited till really late before I come down. I was going to leave it till Monday, but I didn't want to risk leaving the greenhouse this long without being watered. I figured uh, any disruption from whatever they're doing around here with the roads, I'd be safe at this time of night. So I've had no trouble getting here, but it looks like the motorway on the way home, I noticed, is down to one lane, so I might have fun getting home at this time, but we'll see. Just, uh, if you remember, in the last video, I put a bit of a cover on there, and some of that uh, beetroot started growing some new shoots again. I've just looked this tyre. The last onions I put in, something's eating the tops on all of them. It's eating the tops on all of these. And it looks like it's eating the tops off them. Uh, might have even started having a nibble at these, yeah. It's starting the bloody rain as well, unbelievable. So, uh, God knows what I don't have. I could do with like a nature cam or something. I want to strap on the greenhouse and... I know there's a lot of rabbits and stuff about. I've never known rabbits eat onion tops, but I might be wrong. So uh, I'm going to have to do something, maybe ring up a, rig up a nature cam or something and see what's uh, taking a fancy to onion tops. Someone there had a bit of a... In fact, that is a rabbit. They're rabbit droppings. They're rabbit droppings. So that's sodding rabbits. Unbelievable. 
should have left them on really they'd be good for it the vegetarian so it's no different rabbit rabbit mucks as good as any other muck <laughs> that's uh that fertilizing crops just a pain Feed them down to the stalks, they'll, they'll just not do anything. I'll, uh, I might dig one of them other bits of cover out and cover these. Anyway, main reason I came was to give the greenhouse a water. Been fairly nice all afternoon, and as soon as you get here, it starts raining. Just looking at solar panels before on uh, that one. I don't think that one. With this hydroponic thing I rigged up on here, it's solar powered, and I made this little like canopy for over the shed door, and that's actually the solar panel I put on top of it. But uh, when I've had the shed door open, I can see the charge controller inside and. I don't think it's uh, as efficient as it was meant to be or it's maybe it needs cleaning I'm not sure but I think I'd have been better I might put a slightly larger panel on but one that's on a, a better angle and put it on the top of the shed roof instead so it catches more light uh, not not sure I'll get anything growing in that this year but I think I've got quite a few over winter projects that will be easier to attack when I'm not worrying about what's uh, growing or not growing in the ground. Well these have grown on a bit. I only put strings on these, uh, well it was probably Tuesday night was it or Monday night, I can't remember now. Monday or Tuesday. So uh, now, uh, so some of these uh, could do with a bit more string on them. None of them have actually dried out, although oh, look at that fella, big slug down there. He's getting evicted. That might be the first tigerella, more or less ripe. It's actually looks quite bright on the phone, but it's it's a lot darker. This is a pain when they start splitting. That's usually caused by erratic watering, so they dry out and then they get a burst of water, then they dry out, but They've not been erratically watered, so that's really quite annoying. Uh, but as long as bugs or anything, nothing's eaten into them, they're, they're great for sort of turning into sauces or something like that. So I need to train this cucumber to climb up this uh, wire, go a bit higher up. So there's a couple of new cucumbers forming there, another one there. Don't know if there's any lower down. Oh wild. <laughs> that little pot down there, that was one of the uh, offshoots of this that I've grown. And the offshoots, it must have rooted out the bottom of the pot as the offshoots way up there into the corner of the greenhouse. So I might just leave that for a laugh, see what it does. So I'll uh, do a bit of watering in here and I'll bring you back shortly. It's amazing uh, how bright this actually looks because it's quite dark now, the phone uh, seems to amplify the light. Uh, I was just sat in the greenhouse, I've watered everything, just sat in the greenhouse replying to a, uh, a WhatsApp message that came in and I heard a bit of a thud from around here and I thought I saw something just flash past and while I was sat in the greenhouse uh, the aforementioned suspected rabbit Casually jogged round here, got a bit of a fright when I stamped my feet and tore off over there somewhere. So there is a rabbit in here, and that makes it quite difficult to grow anything. And also, got to get rid of it now somehow. Not tonight, obviously, but uh, I think the person who ever took over the front half of the allotment, they don't sort of shut the gate properly. They leave a gap at the bottom. And it doesn't take much of a gap for a rabbit to sneak in, and once they're in, they're very hard to get rid of. So I'll have to have a word with them about, you know, closing the gate. 
people come to their allotment, leave the gate wide open while they're here, close it when they leave, and you know, rabbits. I've seen rabbits in broad daylight, they'll happily just wander in and hide somewhere and feast on all your nice green young shoots, etc. So, uh, I'm gonna head home now. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, the rain's coming in a bit harder now. These uh, potato flowers, some of them look like they're germinating and they're growing the seed heads or the, the potato apples as they're called. Ooh. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to uh, when they die back and emptying that as the amount of top growth there I think there'll be a seriously good crop of potatoes in them tyres probably the thing I'll grow best and the one thing I don't really eat I'm not a real I'm not a big potato fan I prefer just normal vegetables not potato but they're there and they're fresh and homegrown they'll get eaten so I'm gonna wrap, wrap this up for now I'm gonna head home see what the motorway is like look like there was uh, it's a four lane stretch and it looked like three lanes were being shut as I came here so that could be interesting, uh, getting home at this time of night. What time is it? Just 25 to 10. So, uh, I'll, I'll, this will probably be the last video for this week at the allotment. I'll uh, start again on Monday when hopefully the road works and that are sorted around here. Thanks for watching. Cheers now.